all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you please invite your friends and share the link with whoever you have today our topic is about politics and it's about peace and war and in the same time it's about religion in fact all of them they are one topic especially when it's come to islam lately we heard in the news uh, that the prime minister of india he took an action and he decided to take off the special treatment for uh, the area of Jammu and Kashmir. Now I'm really surprised and I never uh, knew that they have a special treatment because supposedly it's an area of conflict. And I don't know really why India even allows such a thing. India is a country and the constitution of India should go to every inch of the land. And always right away, anything India try to do to preserve its right, right away, all Western news agencies, they go against India immediately. Uh, you know, uh, through, through my life, I notice how always Western support any Islamic country against any uh, other one. Doesn't matter if it's a Christian, if it's a Hindu, it doesn't matter who. All Western media serve one master. It's called dollar. So the dollar is the one is talking. It's not the media. Right away, you will see a Pakistani news agency says New York Times exposed India on Article 370 in Kashmir conflict. And you ask yourself, New York Times expose India. What does that mean? This is exactly what I'm saying. All of them, they get their money from the one. I mean, I, 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 me, myself, actually, one of the first jobs I did in my life when I was in law school, it was to fix Arabic grammar for a newspaper before publishing. And, uh, you know, I don't write the article. I just read the article to correct any mistake before they print it. And then I noticed that uh, the article written there have nothing to do with reality. For three months, we are publishing something against Al Qazafi. Al Qazafi is a bad person. Al Qazafi is a pagan. He is uh, not a believer. Uh, the uh, Qazafi is uh, he made a, a book to replace the Quran. Al Qazafi have a lot of women in his bedrooms. Al Qazafi, Al Qazafi, and then suddenly the newspaper changed the way the article is written. And suddenly Al Qazafi became a hero. Why? Because I heard that the embassy of Libya sent a big check to the director and the owner of the newspaper, and suddenly Al Qazafi became an angel. Same article is about even tea and coffee. Few months we are attacking drinking coffee. Don't drink coffee, coffee will cause etc. An article and doctors' names and etc. And later we find out that all those articles are fake. It's two companies trying their best to increase their sales. So the one who sells teas, they make articles, paid articles, to attack drinking coffee. And then the company, okay, they did for three months attacking coffee, etc. Now they, uh, their money is over. The newspaper switched to attack drinking tea and favoring coffee. So can we take really our news and our decision from... Western media or any media no all media's agencies they speak for their master who is the one paying for their salary the one who is paying for their food and vacation and fancy cars all of us we knew that even Pakistan is not a country it is part of India but because Islam always divide and conquer Swallow countries, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Bangladesh, those are part of India. And look what happened to India because of Pakistan. And this is additional proof that Islam cannot, is not a tolerance religion. Because if Islam is a tolerance religion, okay, why the Muslims cannot live with the Hindu and the Christians and the atheists and everybody in, in India? India was one land, huge land. And then the British intelligence, they did their tricks and their magic. 
the devil is there and they work hard to divide this country and the purpose is very simple to make India a midget country because India as a the big India is a threat is a great India so in order to make India nothing we have to divide it we have to make it smaller we have to make it small territory and not only that we need to create a conflict because conflict can keep those countries busy and they never grow so we notice here that Western media Western devilish uh, intelligence agency and government they are all in one side with Islamic countries Everybody in the Western media now is against this guy Modi. I don't know him by the way and even like some people they say that in India they discriminate Christians I understand But still I believe that this guy is doing the right thing. This is his land Why in the world you will have a land which is part of your borders You are afraid to say I'm going to practice my constitution over all my land actually it's stupid not to do so and why somebody when he do the right thing the whole world go against him the guy he just said this is my land and the whole world agree this is their land even in the map even in United Nation and then you will see right away the Islamic propaganda Indian soldiers in Kashmir are masquerading the word silent because the dead are Muslims. The fact if the dead is a Muslim, the whole world go crazy. When somebody he attack a mosque in a New Zealand, the whole world is a crying. We have thousands of Christians slaughtered in Syria, in Iraq, not the 25 or 50. And nobody crying for them. Donation come from everywhere. Donation from New Zealand, Christian in New Zealand, Christian in Australia, everybody is donating for, you know, I support donating those who they are victims for sure. But why nobody remember our, our victims, who they are by tens of thousands, not 50? The world go crazy when an attack happen against anything is called Islam, even by talking. Look at YouTube. I cannot even keep my videos on YouTube for a few hours. What I do? They took even the, my right to have advertising in my channel just because of my topic. If you are a person who sponsor Islam, they will never take your right of uh, uh, getting donation. But you are not. This is YouTube. This is America. Yet they support Islam. Facebook. Google. If you search right now in Google, you will see all positive things come right away in the first engine of the search in Google. And the negative disappear. My friend, this is reality, and we are not making things up. When you speak against the devil, the devil and his forces are against you. And we are here to say the truth. It doesn't matter who say it, who I accept or reject. It doesn't matter. They let us receive donation or not, well, that will not change anything. They take us down, they put us up, it doesn't matter. This is the land of the Indian, and the Indian, they have the right to control their land. The West, and I advise Indian people, never expect support from Western, including Trump. All of them, they are fake. All of them, they are liars. They are willing to sell you for a dollar. Western government, they will sell India 
the same as they sell many country for a dollar look at Qatar Qatar is the biggest sponsor of terrorism in the world Trump he went in the front of the White House he speak against Qatar Qatar have to stop sponsoring terrorism four days days after Qatar went to the White House and bought by billion of dollars airplanes since then Trump is so cute and so peaceful with Qatar and not only that last time the Prince of Qatar he went there he told him you are our closer friend this guy is a sponsor of Al-Qaeda and you are the one who said so so you cannot you cannot if you are an Indian and you are listening you cannot depend on the Western to support you and trust me if a war broke between Pakistan and India guess what all Western countries will stand with Pakistan including America this is what they do through history when Turkey occupy half of Cyprus where was the Western nah, they keep their mouth in mute when the war broke between the Serbian and the Muslims occupation in El Bosnia the Western took side with the terrorist against the Serbian and they killed tens of thousands of civilian Serbian and after that we saw the videos how the Muslims in Kosovo burning churches and uh, making fun of our cross breaking it you can watch the movies there's tons of them they are proud about them by the help of the Western government and the army of America so if you are an Indian and you are seeking your rights you better be ready because the door of the devil will open on you the gate of hells of the devil will open on you all those names we mention England France USA they are not your friends they have no friends they don't they will sponsor only Islamic countries so I hope that the the Prime Minister of India he knew exactly what he is doing and he is ready for what it's coming last time the Indian they have uh, like a, a, a problem in Kashmir the Pakistani they strike down one of, or two of their airplanes and India shows kind of weakness and look like India is not really ready for any kind of war and maybe even they have a weakness in their army so I hope that the Indian when they do and take decision they are ready for what's coming this is my only really worry because as I said you see the, the, just to show you the hypocrisy of the West Pakistan is a very dangerous country and everybody knows that and there's a huge population of it who promote terrorism and the government of Pakistan itself is the one who sponsored Taliban for years and years Osama bin Laden was hosted by the government of Pakistan and they knew his location and they hided him from USA yet USA will never bother to say I'm going to put sanctions in Pakistan because they have nukes the conflict with Iran it's not because Trump really he care about stopping Iran as a regime of religion well Saudi Arabia is a regime of religion Emirat is a regime of all of them they are sheikhs even their names are sheikhs So why Iran? Very simple reason. Oil and gas and business with the Saudi. Trump, he do what the Saudi want. The Saudi says, we want you to do this. The Trump, he says, oh, yes, sir, we would do it. Where's the money? The guy, even he said it clearly, we need to pray. You want us to protect you, you have to pay us. He have a mentality of a gang like he's a bodyguard for hire no shame so what is going to happen tomorrow depend in the Indian how much they are prepared because making decisions is easy but going in a serious conflict is a different business 
is the Indian really they have an army can protect their decision are they prepared for what's going to come after that do they have any friends to support them I say mostly no I don't think so I don't think anyone will support India in case of war broke all of them they will support Pakistan because United Arab Emirates will involve with support Pakistan Saudi will support Pakistan uh, 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 all the money in the world will support Pakistan and who is going to support the poor country India nobody no one who's going to support you keep dreaming USA as I said they have no friends look what they are doing to the the Kurdish in Kashmir they used the Kurdish for for eight years fighting ISIS and when Erdogan he decided to attack Syria USA stop you know act as there's nothing happening I mean those are your friends you arm them you train them they fought you paid for their salary for eight years and now the Turkish come in inside Syria Trump he act as if he saw nothing he was busy watching YouTube Mickey Mouse cartoon and now Erdogan is threatening again he will go and attack Syria and because of many pressure around him the you know I mean it's obviously like you guys you cannot be trusted you have no friends everything is a business everything for sale this is why people they start trusting the Russian they cannot trust the American they cannot trust England they cannot trust France for those they do business nothing personal they lost their dignity those leaders they have no value there's they have no Christian value they have nothing is called value nothing personal it's just a business and their business is not with India you know what India have coconut rice they don't care for you know India they care for business and this is why I'm saying I hope that's the Indian are ready for the outcome of their decision and it's not just a, a brave decision because it's good to be brave but it's good to be wise too right and uh, you know the business will make decision where this is will go not what is right and what's not what is wrong this is why what uh, what I believe uh, uh, you know is happening and I believe that India if they go in war they will suffer badly not because Pakistan is strong but because always Western countries they side up with Islamic countries so you better get ready for England selling weapon secretly and openly USA all kind of countries right now as we speak Trump is arming terrorists in the south of Syria you believe it we say that Trump is coming Trump is better than Obama well, he do exactly the same as Obama why because all of them they are running corporation business they speak too much about being good but they are evil Israel uh, Israel you know never never think that Israel will support you on anything yeah they don't the, the Israel have no friends too you see the Israeli they do business too they have the same mentality of the Western so India is is good for them as long they can get the benefit of India but Israel now is getting close to Saudi Arabia and Emirat and Bahrain the more they get close to those countries you know soon they will open actually a, a, a train line between uh, Saudi Arabia going all the way to Israel so things is changing and at the end of the day they care for their their, their neighbor the one who uh, you know can stable the area for them where no terrorist will come from their borders so do you think Israel will support India no 
I don't think so. I don't th think even will give them a bullet. Uh, the only thing can support India is Indian. As simple as that. As simple as that. So, you know, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, uh, the British, they went to India, right? Okay. And the uh, Indian, the they fought uh, in the British army and etc. And then the British they betray you. They sold you out. They, this is what they do. I mean, why people don't learn from history? Those you see, there is a mafia controlling this world, where government run by mafia, not by a prime minister. You think it's a prime minister, but this prime minister have to be approved by his mafia, the mafia behind. The, the ones who own the trillions of dollars, not you. You think you go for voting? You see, the president is already there. Once I was speaking to a businessman, he was saying he want to donate to this guy, this mayor, and that mayor. I said, why you donate to, to the, the, the two guys who go against each other for an election? He said, because whoever wins, he's in my pocket. <laughs> why well, I want to risk it? He donate for both. So both in his pocket. The rich, and when we say rich, we are talking about those who own billions and trillions, is the one really make decision in this earth. It is not a prime minister. It's not a president. And business is the one who will control. Israel gave India bank or etc. Yeah, but you see, this is all is nothing. You see, Israel is doing business too. Israel, they were selling weapon to Iran too. You, you believe it? Go right now, search in Google. You will find that during the war between Iraq and Iran, Israel were selling secretly weapon to Iran. Have you? Can you believe it? Yes. Israel is selling weapon to Hamas. You guys, you don't understand. This is just business. The Israeli, they are. Did you ask yourself where the weapon of Hamas is coming from? This is huge gun machines, American guns machines, Israeli guns machines. From where? They go to store in Israel and buy it. Say, hey, I am from Hamas. It is the Israeli intelligence who smuggle it to them and they take millions and hundreds of millions of dollars. <laughs> you guys, you have no idea. <laughs> All the weapon of Hamas is most of it is bought from Israel. Right? They don't they don't they don't have friends. It's just a business. And you guys you think like okay, well, there is a uh, uh, Israel is our friend or no, you don't have a friends. And especially in relation between countries, there's nothing is called a friend. The only country I can say they have something to 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 force decision is Russia you see the Russian when they came to Syria they came for two reasons number one their business number two the Christian in Syria so the Russian always to be trusted they never betray their friends they stay with you until you betray them and then they will do what they need to do to you American Rich, French, they have no friends. This guy Trump, he will sign an agreement with you today and tomorrow he will rip it off. The same as Obama. This is how they are. Because everything they do is a business. Uh, somebody saying Israel and India are working same the Nazi it's very funny that you are talking about you are saying that Israel is a Nazi but when they are the one killed by the Nazi I mean do you see how stupid your statement mr. unknown a human look what this person he said Israel and India are working on same agenda uh, uh, and ie same as Nazi ideology that's stupid of you to say that's very stupid of you to say but it's normal stupidity these days is an intelligence. How you say that the Israeli have the mentality of the Nazi if they are the one who fought and they are the one who paid the highest price of the Nazi? You know what? 
If you go to Israel, my friend, I was talking about the Israeli government, how they do business. But at the end of the day, if you go to Israel, you will find Muslims in the parliament of Israel. Even saying Allahu Akbar. Can you do that in your country? Can you do that in Pakistan? Can you do that in Saudi Arabia to make a Jew to cite whatever from the Torah and make him a parliament member? In Israel, Muslims have right the same as the Jews, the same as the Christians, the same health insurance, the same salary, jobs open for everybody. So stop being a fool and stop being a liar. I was talking about business mentality. Those government don't have a friends. They do business. So I will exchange something with you. In return, you do something to me. This is the mentality of the Western countries. The Eastern, they are emotional people. They have different mentality. They think of a friendship. They think of relationship because they are different, totally different mentality. And I am a Middle Eastern. So always we have to be uh, uh, careful when we make decision, and I hope Mr. Moody, he is he is calculating his numbers carefully, because any second, any time, war might break, and then if India is not ready for such a thing, then India will pay a very high price. This is what I want to share with you for today. Nothing much, really. It's just about politics, and you know. I uh, uh, I was surprised when I make a little study about the both army and I found that there is a misbalance between India and Pakistan. Pakistan army is a lot more ready and prepared for war. And I think the Indian, they noticed that in the last year. When last time the, the Pakistani, they were able to take down an Indian airplane. So I hope they are preparing themselves for what's coming because if the war broke I mean the Pakistani they would take Kashmir if India is not strong and ready and not only Kashmir they will go and walk all the way to Delhi why not you know so you have we have to to uh, you know my consider my my worry is Indian not ready or uh, for for such a thing and I hope they are ready because the only thing protect your right in this 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 filthy earth is your strength your own hands you see now they are talking about constitution in countries in Islamic countries Western they join the the, the discussion about constitution but nobody care for the Christians rights the Yazidi have rights. The Druze have rights. The Ahmadiyya have rights. The Shia, the Sunni, the Christians in the Middle East have no rights. Nobody speak for them. Nobody. American is the last one to care. French? Huh? Give me a break. So you cannot, you cannot trust the West if you are going to go in war so I am I'm not saying it's, it's true or not that the, the, the Pakistan can take Kashmir I'm saying I hope that the Indian are I trust that Indian people are smart people I met many Indian people they are really smart people but sometimes you get emotional and you make a decision and you are not ready for the emotional decision you made so I hope that Modi the Prime Minister of India when he took his decision and what is going to come after it because as I said war might break I hope he is ready for that war otherwise India will pay a consequence for everybody will go against you and those who will help you they will not help you really they will help you to suck your money you see at the end of the day if you have a dollar you have a friends to make it simple if a war broke between India and Pakistan uh, USA is willing to sell weapon to India, but maybe under the blanket 
and just give us your dollar same as other countries but in the case of Pakistan you can imagine how much money will come you see the army of Turkey right now is sponsored in full by the prime by the Prince of Qatar Turkey is a bankrupt country totally bankrupt they, 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 the money value is gone the only thing making Turkey standing in its feet at until now is Qatar airplane paid by Qatar anything Turkey want to buy from the from the West or any other countries is you see the 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 s400 the one the the the, the, the radar and missile system uh, bought from Russia is paid by Qatar not by the Turkish Turkish they have no money so what I'm trying to say that this is a Muslim Sunni country and they will gang against you and they will put sanctions against you and they will send donations by tens of millions of billions of dollars so you better be ready and history always repeat itself let us see the Turkish will never go in war with Israel all of us we knew that Turkey is a you see Turkey is a Turkey is a, is like a balloon I, I for me Erdogan is like a balloon full of fart all what you need to do is just put a needle and all the gas will come out he have no country his his country is totally collapsing uh, the price of a chicken one day is something the other day is something because the currency going up and down like 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 if somebody like a kid jumping in a rasur so turkey is have no power to fight anyone they fight the turkish turkish government they are coward they fight only little tiny groups who they are weak like kurdish you know cyprus cyprus is a tiny country the whole population is not even the size of my family so we attack uh, cyprus we attack uh, kurdish but they will never dare to do something big so in the case uh, in the case of Turkey, Saudi Arabia is not supporting Turkey because they have a big problems with him. They hate, they hate each other now because Turkey is a Muslim Brotherhood and Saudi, they are 100% against Muslim Brotherhood. In the case of Pakistan, the Pakistani, they play like a uh, government, play like a snake. So they are not with this guy, they are not with this guy. And the reason they do that, so they can receive donation from everybody, uh, like, you know, the, the 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 Muslim Brotherhood we support you the Saudi we support you and give us your money give us your weapon give us what you have give us a discount in oil uh, give us uh, free loans give us give us give us give us and then at the end of the day you know still they are Muslims and they will be sponsored so let us see what will happen and uh, as you see here uh, like in Twitter there is there is a huge impact of this decision going around and you will notice one thing that all Islamic countries even Pakistan I mean what Pakistan have to do with the moon and the star you know, Muslim country you see you see they are not united but somehow they have the same star and the same crescent moon so when you go in this war, you better be ready for what's coming. And they will gang against you. I guarantee you that. And they will gang against you in the social media. And they will gang against you everywhere you can imagine. This guy, his name is Zayed Hamid. He's saying, I am warning Pakistani leadership. India planning an attack on Pakistan. Kashmir properly by August 15 my friend Kashmir is their land what attack in Kashmir this is their land and they are not taking anything from you you are you don't have a land this is their land this is their land so I make it clear that you know I support back uh, uh, you know uh, India uh, this is their right this is their land and they should take what is given what what is their right nobody have the right to take it away from them all right so we we uh, uh, you know uh, uh, we can hear tons of propaganda uh, from Muslims and from their friends in the West like New York Times CNN etc but the truth is very simple this is an Indian land 
and nobody have the right to take the land from the Indian. They own it and they have it. Just I want to say thank you for this. This is just, uh, you know, sharing politics and I'm not going to keep the video for long there. So I want to say thank you for uh, being with us guys and uh, maybe see you later um, tonight. Um, I might go again in the broadcast, which is going to be morning for those who live in Asia. Until then, may the Lord bless you all. And I hope peace will stay on earth. We don't encourage war and we don't like war, but war sometimes is the only reason for peace. And actually, you see, the only reason that we have peace these days longer than usual because people they have or let's say countries they have a scary weapon and everybody is scared from going in war because now Pakistan and India both of them they have nukes so you can imagine what is going to happen if really they start using nukes so uh, uh, human being is not really in a favor favor like in like you don't favor uh, a peace over war but because weapons these days are ugly and scary, they are being very careful not to go for war. Otherwise, trust me, they will be for, uh, attacking from long time ago. But the consequence is big. And this is why, not because they are peaceful, but because of the consequence. You know what I mean? Otherwise, they will, it's uh, because uh, war is a business. You know, at the end of the day, war is a business, it's money. Corporation, they will create war so they can sell. It's like, you know, uh, if you remember a few years ago, they have the the, the virus, what it's called, uh, the pig virus, I forgot the name. Anyway, so everybody start taking vaccine and etc. and it, it, it turned to be propaganda. So people, they will buy a vaccine which nobody need. And even the USA government in the time of Obama was involved. I remember Joe bite me. He went, he said, if I am you, I will not walk in the street. I will not go take the train. I will not take airplane. Look, what happened? You hear the news. You think this guy, like what happened? The whole, the people are, are walking in the street like zombie now. After all of this, we found that only three people die from that. Only three. So billions of dollars, people, they spend from their pocket. To buy a vaccine and this is the whole point they create a chaos to take your dollar they give you dollar in the right hand they take it in the left it doesn't matter what hand you give it to you they will take it back and they will take in the top of it and people are naive like Trump he is saying now the economy of USA is very strong Go in the market, you will see things. The price is going up. What's uh, strong? Uh, put sanctions and, and uh, you know we put tax on the in the uh, Mexican. We put tax in the in the Chinese. And then, who pay tax at the end of the day? It's not the Chinese. Still, people buying the Chinese product because there's no replacement. All what they need to do now, the companies, they add tax to it. That's it. And then I I pay the tax. To make it simple, I'm going to put sanctions in China. So, uh, okay, if you want to send us TVs, you have to add 30% tax. Okay. And which TVs we are going to buy now? Which TV is made in America? Still people will buy the Chinese TV. Mac is made by, by, by China. Apple made by China. Your phone is made by China. I took my computer to fix it. They told me that we need uh, I, I, the battery. It says made in China. The board it says, "Oh, open your computer and look." This is Apple, American company. So all those sanctions is a joke. It's just for a political agenda. Because at the end of the day, still nothing changed. Still we are paying for that. But for him, he is rich. He will not go uh, bankrupt. He will not feel the pain for going and pay for a grocery. This guy, he owned billions of dollars. All right? So, in the outside, it sounds like they are doing good to defend us, but in the re reality, it is just a business. This is for the sake of corporation. Trump is negotiating for corporation. You need to buy from our corporation, so we buy from your corporation. 
both corporation have to make equal money this is the whole point but both corporation are not even American I mean where is the money of America you see in America there's nothing it's called American money for America is a free country you can buy you can go to your computer you can transfer a billion dollar in a click of enter which means the money is not controlled and all the American companies their headquarters now in different places and all American companies they don't make their product so where is the American companies why because China is cheaper so why we're gonna make a TV in America is going to cost a three thousand dollars when we can get a TV from China for five hundred dollars and better than the American TV right so it just a business have nothing to do with the with, with us actually I'm going to post a video about China uh, uh, I will make a series in my new channel and maybe today or tomorrow I will I will tell you about my new channel which is going to be only for uh, uh, reviewing like uh, let's say uh, quality of life quality of product anything you know but not about religion neither about politics so I will announce this channel later so if you guys you like to join us we will have live chat and we will have uh, 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 what uh, what is fun let us say and honest review for things around us on my opinion but nothing personal about me because this is not really about me I don't talk about myself I am no one there's a movie it's called my name is nobody all right so soon I will publish that uh, uh, channel I will tell you which channel you can go and subscribe and please from that channel nobody should download the videos those videos should stay in my channel so we can get more people to subscribe there this is not about religion so you don't you should you should not download from that channel any video I load there only from this only my videos about Islam or politics here you can download with this I want to say thank you yes we are going to be unboxing therapy exactly <laughs> You know, we are unboxing Muhammad for the last uh, century, isn't it? Uh, you know, shouldn't we take a break for unboxing different boxes? Hello? Correct, guys? At least when I do, uh, let us say, a review of anything, you will, you can, you can trust, you can trust what I will say. You see, I, I watch review sometime because I need review. Before you buy something, you need to see what people are saying. But most of those, especially those big channels, you know they are sponsored and those that are sponsored they are fake they want to make you buy it so you cannot trust what they say companies they send in the product for free do you think that the review will be really honest so he will speak about one or two negative things to make it like it is not really taking a side with the company but he's paid money to his pocket they gave him expensive let us say phones to review as a gift and yet you expect from him to be uh, a review I don't think so all right all right well I want to say thank you and hello India good evening good morning and I wish you a good luck with your leader and better future and I pray that war will not happen but I hope that's in the West government they will support India in case something happened because India is the biggest democracy in in that territory and nobody can beat that now there's many negative things about India but at the end of the day right is right and wrong and wrong is wrong which mean if something happened in India is wrong we should say it's wrong if something happened it's right we should say it's right and it's the right of India to take over Kashmir for, because this is their land. Actually, if I am Moody, and if I am a person for war, but I am not, I don't really like war, I will go and take Pakistan because even Pakistan is, is India. This is not, there's no country is called Pakistan. This is the fabrication of the British intelligence. And I told you the purpose because they wanted to divide India so in the future nobody will have a giant country it's called India where it can be a threat let us say by being powerful rich wealthy India and they have everything to be a great country they have smart people educated people rich land 
big territory, huge population. And that was the purpose behind dividing India into territories and countries like Pakistan and Bangladesh, etc. It just to destroy this great country. So don't let the West do to you what they did to you before, my friend. And don't let the Muslims today do to you what the West did to you before, my friend, and what they did to you before. 80, 80 million Indian Hindu slaughtered by Islamic attack in history. 80 million, not 8,000. But I never heard anyone speaking about it. Nobody speak about it. 80 million. Do you believe it? 80. So we can say that the Indian people, they paid the highest price of genocide by Islam through history. Nobody can imagine such a number. 80 million. But, you know, when you are poor and you are Indian or you are an Arab Christian, eh, you die. There's a country, it's called Sierra Leone in Africa, the, the Christians are slaughtered there every day. Did you hear anything in the news about them? No. In the Ivory Coast, 4,000 Christians you know, burned alive in one day under the eyes of the French special forces. Nobody talk about them. 4,000 Christians. You are black and African and Christian and you think people will cry for you? Who cares? But when a crazy, sick, mental idiot, he attack a mosque in New Zealand, the whole world is crying. They play Quran in the radio, the news, the Pope. The Pope is crying for them. Everybody, but the Christians slaughter every day around the earth. Who care? Nobody. But I do. Thank you guys for being here. This video will not stay in my channel because it's just an opinion about something maybe is not important for many of you. And I hope that we are going to see something better, better tomorrow and better people who say the truth as it is and nothing sugar coated. Our problem is the sugar coating for everything around us and I am sick of it. I don't wanna be sugar coated person. I wanna be real. I wanna be decent. I wanna be sharing the truth. I want to speak my mind, and if you don't like my mind, eh, leave me alone, if you don't mind. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And to learn more about the cult of Islam, you can read my books, and you can get them from Amazon. Take care, everybody. Thank you.